What's up guys, welcome to an episode about uh, on Star Wars Battlefront 2's world map and also welcome to Addy's Hat Gaming Time, here's the intro. So first hopefully I'm not going to be an idiot and we'll release this like a day later. Hopefully I'm able to do this all in one. Okay, now let's read it. Alright, so the roadmap should be up on your screens right now. Here in my little commentary. Okay, so it was just released. So for July, Hero Starfighters updates. Mod. 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 I can't read. Um, Hero Starfighters. New for versus 4P v, P mode. Focus on Hero Ship. Battles, game improvements, heroes can turn lightsabers on and off on player command, oh my god, lightsaber blocking will now affect stamina, players can swip, swip appearances pre round, hero showdown quality of life improvements. August appearances, Clone Wars appearances, game improvements, emotes, and Victoria poses available to unlock with credits or crystals. Fall or in the UK, meaning autumn. Heroes: Obi Wan Kenobi and General Grievous. Modes: New large scale modes appearances. Clone War, Clone War, Clone Trooper appearances, and Hero appearances. Awesome. Game improvement, squad system. Winter. Heroes, Anakin Skywalker, Count Dooku, locations, Geonosians, so I guess we're getting two planets this year. Appearances, Clone War, Clone Trooper appearances, and Hero appearances. Ongoing uh, affection, improvements on match making, daily challenges, map rotations, bug fixing, and balancing are ongoing. Important disclaimer more content and features to be confirmed in the future world map updates. Detailed information on all above will be made in the patch notes. Now let's talk about this. How do I think this roadmap is? Well I think it's fantastic now they've actually given it to us. I previously stated in Alisa Gaming Time that we would get no roadmap at all today but I guess I was proven wrong because no one actually really knew what was what the hell was actually going on. Now game improvements for July I'm liking it. I am like if it means what I mean it means like heroes can turn lightsabers on and off on player command and then that's just amazing it sounds like the old battlefront today now for July we don't really have a uh, release date for it I heard that we may get all of this stuff at the end of the month end of July but apart from that I don't actually know when um, now I was a bit sceptical of when the Clone Wars content will come. It seems to me it will start in August with the Clone Wars, uh, a pit, Clone, Clone Trooper appearances going towards winter. So as I'm seeing it, it's August, September, October, November and December. So we're getting, if I was imagining this, getting the heroes our first set of heroes between September and October, winter months being November and December. Um, to be honest, I like all this. Emotes and fixed proposals to unlock with credits or crystals. I like that. I, I think it should be done and it's just amazing. Like You wonder why every time you watch my gameplay videos I don't get new ones. Well that's because when the, um, the update came up a couple of, couple of months ago it basically destroyed that you couldn't get email, emotes or victory poses unless if it was a challenges and all of that. 
So yeah, again, I'm very happy with it. I understand that if we have to wait long, then that's fine by me. What's most important is that, what's the big grudge about all of this is that, um, that in life there's certain things you have to do to take on and if you get those stuff that you don't really want to do complete that and then eventually this will come faster so um yeah I, I'm liking it I am many people think oh hey this is not this doesn't save us or what I think the game is saved I think it's all good I is I, I think it's all fantastic I do and I'm quite happy with this Anyway, thank you guys for watching this Addy Tech Gaming Time, and um, peace guys, see ya, oh and thank you for 400 subscribers, no special video until 500.